So yeah, I, I think I just killed Chuck. I mean, he's, he's laying out in that yard and he's not moving. And, and, I mean, he, I don't think he's breathing. Okay, he's, we'll start from the beginning. Yeah, you look confused. Uh, so I'm sitting on the roof, right, with Marissa. From Marissa. Yeah, we're talking. We're having a good time, right? I tell her I, she looks like Sandra Bullock and how I love Hope Floats, favorite movie. And then we start kissing and we're holding each other and we're, you know, loosening roof shingles. And then I feel this pounding on my back and I turn around. There he is, Chuck. Great. And he says, what's up? And I say, I don't know, what's up with you, Chuck? And he says, you're kissing my girl. And I said, you have a boyfriend? And she says, that's my cousin. Then I say, you kiss your cousin? Then he starts crying, she goes back inside. Now I know he's embarrassed because he has a thing for his cousin. So he sits down and he says, I think I'm gonna jump off the roof. And I think, do it. Jump off the roof, Chuck but I don't say that, do I? I'm a nice guy, I'm relaxed, and I say, you're gonna get a girl one day, man. Maybe not your cousin though, right? And I give him this big manly you know, slap on the back, just to... And I swear to God, dude, guy looked real heavy. How's I supposed to know he's going flying off the roof, right? Anyway, you got those hot dogs still? That's it for the first one. So I think love is the most beautiful thing in the world. And I don't give a fuck, you know? I have no original ideas. I recite poetry to get women to fall in love with me. So whoever hears this, women, you should fall in love with me! Because that's what it boils down to, right? God, I've seen a man jack off to a gap window display, so don't you dare fucking try and tell me that love isn't important. Because I know love isn't easy. It is the bane of my existence. It's the reason why I hate Valentine's Day and Halloween, and I think you know where I'm going here. We're about to travel to the land of the ghosts of girlfriends of Halloween's past. And maybe I only have three ghosts in this land, but that doesn't mean that they don't bring their friends because girls rarely travel alone. Lydia, Lydia is one of the girls from this land. I used to kiss her while listening to The Cures, Just Like Heaven, and now that song makes me sad. Why do we associate music with our love lives? Not trying to be profound, just saying that music takes me back. And I can't explain the memory process involved in that because I was not a psychology major. And perhaps the reason I have problems picking up college age women is because I'm always asking them, yo, Sade, what's your major? Maybe I shouldn't think of women in terms of picking them up. Maybe I should open up a sensitive side. But seriously, that sensitive side sucks. You can only imagine the kinds of shit they're going to make you wear. Love isn't fair and war isn't fair. And I don't give a fuck what you think about any of that because I feel unloved. Am I the only one? But you don't want to understand me, do you? Because you just want to hear that part about my small dick again. Because I'm going to be plagued by a rumor until I'm brave enough to whip this thing out on camera and say I'm gigantic. But, but that's not the direction that we wanted to take this monologue, is it? I just want to be in a perfect world, right? With my one true love. And our two kids, Helga and Lamar, because love has got me fucked up and dying because I feel retarded without anybody to hold me at night. And maybe that's sentimental, but what the fuck is wrong with sentimental? All I'm trying to say is somebody. Somebody. Love me. That's it for the second one. So most people, absolutely no idea when they're gonna die, right? A Grim Reaper's gonna pop up out of nowhere one day, he's gonna say, hey, and boom, your heart's gonna explode inside your chest. Fuck, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? None of this, you got seven years to live bullshit. Cause the second that you hear that, you're immediately counting backward in your head, right? I got seven years to live, six years, five, four, three, Next thing you know, you got one year to live. And then bang. Now you're lying on your back staring at a couple of naked angels, right? Most people my age have no idea what I'm feeling, you know? All these 20 year olds get the chance to think that they're going to live forever. But, God damn it, you had it all planned out. You're gonna go to school and you're gonna get a good job, a good job. You're gonna have a wife, a house, two kids, and a fucking dog.
that shit's not always going to turn out like that, is it? So for me, so much for that American fucking dream. So much for an American fucking dream. That's it.